This fishing trip is about um, two hours drive from uh, my hometown, from uh, Danvers, Massachusetts to Woods Hole, Massachusetts. And to go to Woods Hole, I am going past Boston. So as of now, I'm going through it. Finally arrived at about 4.30 in the morning. It's still uh, pretty dark outside. Getting ready to uh, launch the boat. I am now on the water. As you can see, it's pretty dark. Still at around 4.30 or so. I might just have to uh, dry out for a little bit. I'm depending on my GPS right now and we'll anchor for a little bit and I think around 5 the sun will come up and as of now the sun just came up and I'm getting ready to uh, head out to the fishing ground it's not too far it's about not even a mile out you do have to be uh, quite careful because there's a lot of, right there, there's a lot of rocky. Right now it's, it's, it's low tide, so you can actually see the rocks, but on high tide, you can't really see it. So it's quite dangerous if you go through it uh, without seeing the rocks that could really damage your boat. It's a beautiful morning there, the horizon. Kind of enjoying the view for a little bit before the uh, fishing begins. That's a, such a beautiful shot right there. Fish is on. So as of now, I caught uh, I'm on to my second scups. I'm actually gonna those are legal size. It has to be nine inches or longer using them as live bait as well. One of my favorite boats right there. Bertram, I think it's a 30, 35 or 38. Caught my first black sea bass, it's kind of small. Just gonna let it go. Just a beautiful day on the water. A lot of boats are going by. Beautiful sailboat. I'm not a sailboat person, so I like to get to the fishing ground really quick. That's an awesome boat. I think that's out of my dream. But that's a beautiful boat. Fish on. Wow, this this this. This is a good fish. That's a good run. I was putting on a pretty decent sized bait with the leader. I missed a couple of bites I thought it was uh, bluefish. So I uh, cut the line and, and took off. So I put the leader on. So I was thinking bluefish, but it didn't run like bluefish. And then the moment it came up, I saw it was a huge black sea bass. And I was totally in shock. I have never caught him this big before. Got another bite. Oh, 
Let's do it. One thing about being on the water that I love is people are so happy. They always wave to you. I guess the water relaxes everyone. It's a good thing. I am still shocked and excited about my uh, my personal best black sea bass. I am on again. Exciting day of fishing. Got it. Another black sea bass. What an awesome fishing day. So you can only keep five black sea bass in a day. And this is my second one. I am quite happy with the fishing trip. Finally got home. So two black sea bass. three scups so overall I say it's a, it's a successful fishing trip let the cooking begins I'm gonna clean the fish I'm actually gonna not gonna fillet it I am doing a poach style, meaning you you cook a uh, pot of water, bring it to boil, and you're gonna drop the fish in, and uh, you're gonna let it uh, bring it back up to boil again, and then you're gonna shut the fire down and cover for about 20 minutes. This is a thick fish, so it probably takes about 20 minutes to uh, for the hot water to cook it through. And by doing it this way, it will uh, keep the fish stay moist, keep the sweetness to it, and uh, quite tasty. So let's uh, let's follow along. Most fishermen, they, they do want to see what's inside um, the, the, the fish belly. Just so you can have a little more experience on uh, what type of bait to use next time. I'm going to cut the fish in half so that way I can fit in the uh, pot. And as of now, I'm cutting some uh, culantro and uh, scallions.
and some ginger, fresh ginger. Slice them thin and then uh, re slice it. And as you can see, the pot is now boiled. I am going to put the fish in. In about 20 minutes, I'm going to take the tail out first because the tail is a little thinner. So it cooked sooner than the, uh, than the other half. Now I'm just waiting to bring it back up to boil. Then I will cover the lid and shut down the fire. We'll wait 20 minutes from there. As of the scup, I'm gonna make a appetizer just for to have a drink. Uh, it's going to be in the ceviche style. Once you got the two fillets, normally in the middle, there should be a line of uh, bones, so you want to trim those out. Same thing with the other side. Yep, so those are the, uh, the part with the bones in it. So it's not much to it, but it's, it's uh, enough to make a, a dish for yourself as an appetizer, just to have a drink. You want to slice them as thin as possible, so that way when you take a bite on it, it's, it's not overwhelming your mouth. As you can see, I'm um, slide them in an angle and very, very thin. When you go to a sushi restaurant, you're always looking for a thicker piece because it's, it's worth your money. But in reality, uh, raw fish or ceviche style should be, should be quite thin so that way you can let the fish melt in your mouth instead of uh, working to, to uh, chew on it. Okay, now we're just gonna plate it. So for a fish that, that this fresh, in order to be safe, you kind of want to squeeze some uh, lamb juice on it. Just so that way it's, uh, it's a little safer to eat. In my opinion, anyway. And 
next you're gonna you can put some oil on it uh, sesame oil is the normal oil that you can uh, drip on it or you can use olive oil or avocado oil whatever you have at home I am adding some light soy sauce on it. And we'll add some uh, sriracha. the black pepper and the sriracha not just it adds the spiciness to it but it's also a curing process and now I'm putting on some uh, culantro basil some scallion if you want to whatever you have at home and when you've gone on a fishing trip and you uh, go home you're pretty tired, so you, you, you want to make the best out of what you have at home. Uh, instead of running around, trying to get ingredients, right ingredients for it. And that looks pretty good to me. I will let it sit for about 7 to 10 minutes, just so the, the flavoring is absorbed into the fish. Now the fish on the other side is ready, the black sea bass. Taking the tail out first, as you can see there, very moist, very soft, and not dry at all. There you go. Looks quite tasty already. Now I'm taking the uh, head out, it's the thicker size of the fish and that looks fantastic as well. Look at that. And now I'm putting uh, ginger, scallions, Dry ga garlic, dry peppers, soy sauce, a little sugar. And bring it up to uh, boiling. Bring it up, all the smells out. There you go. Looks pretty good. And this will go right on to the black sea bass. That looks tasty. And there you have it. Poached black sea bass and uh, scup ceviche style. I am Chef Kevin Nguyen and thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up and uh, subscribe to my channel. There will be uh, more videos in the future. I will 
hope to see you soon.